Hersan H05 series. Raised pavement markers are designed for application on concrete or asphalt surfaces and must be installed with epoxy or bitumen adhesive. Any other type of adhesive must be evaluated by the user to determine its compatibility with the product and the surface, which must be dry and clean. Hersan H05 series has been an exclusive design and its lower side, which achieves a better performance and increases its useful life in different types of roads, which a larger contact surface and 30% better performance compared to RPMs with a smooth lower side. We do not recommend it installing the product in the following situations, during rainfall and within 24 hours thereafter on existing markings or signals such as paint or tapes, on pavement joints, on cracks or visible pavement delamination marks, on oil stains, grease, residues of any other loose material on the pavement. Recommendations to be considered for the surface where the RPM will be installed. On asphalt surfaces that are new, it is recommended to allow three months after being open to traffic. On new concrete surfaces, the drying compound must be removed after application of the adhesive. This can be done by sandblasting, for example, on concrete surfaces that have been used for a longer period of time. It can be applied directly if it has been open to traffic for at least 19 days. Installations with epoxy adhesive Epoxy adhesive is a high-strain adhesive and requires two components mixed in a one-to-one -one proportion to install the RPMs. 1. Mix the component one-to-one, -one, component A, resin, and component B, catalyst, until a homogeneous color mixture is obtained. Otherwise, the result and efficiency of the adhesive will be affected. It is recommended to always add the catalyst, part B, to the resin, part A, Normally, the color obtained from a good mix is gray. 2. Clean the surface of the pavement where the RPM will be installed. You can use a wire brush or clean with pressurized air. 3. Mark or draw the location where the piece needs to be installed. 4. Apply a sample of adhesive on the lower surface of the piece, making sure that it is completely covered, especially in the corners. 5. Place the RPM on the pavement and apply a little pressure on the piece. It is normal for some adhesive to emerge from the piece. 6. To allow the adhesive to dry and for a better result, it is recommended to wait at room temperature for approximately 30 to 45 minutes before resurfacing the vehicle traffic. To prolong the standard shelf life of the adhesive already mixed, it is recommended to keep it in the coolest place possible. Once the adhesive has been mixed, the entire mixture should be used as it is for single use only. Dispose of remaining adhesive. It is recommended to follow the adhesive manufacturer's recommendation for its applications to obtain the best results. The approximate performance on an already mixed epoxy adhesive per piece is 100 grams. Bitumen installation. Bitumen is a homogeneous mixture of an asphalt binder and coring adhesive and is filled with minerals. It's a one component system designed to be melt and pump applied. The bituminous adhesive hardens upon cooling and is ready for traffic within five minutes. One, the surface must be clean and dry. Two, the hot melt should be prepared and the temperature should be heated to the temperature recommended by the adhesive manufacturer. 3. Once the required control temperature has been reached, the adhesive will be placed in the boiler to melt. 4. Pour the adhesive on the pavement until it forms a small puddle of approximately 15 cm of diameter. 5. Place the raised pavement marker on the bitumen with light pressure. It is normal to have bitumen around the piece, but not so much that it touches the reflective lenses. 6. It is recommended to allow the adhesive to call for at least one minute before allowing vehicular traffic to return. It is recommended to follow the manufacturer's instructions for the preparation and application of the adhesive. Health and safety information. 
before handling or using chemical products, read all health hazard and first aid information on the safety data sheet, MSDS, and or product label and always use the appropriate safety equipment for working with these chemicals.